right, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram if you're not already. In today's video, it's going to be my last ever uni video, university video. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you would have seen that I have, you have seen that I went to the University of Kent and I have made numerous videos about university. I have made a room tour video, then I've done a room tour plus like the whole house and the kitchen and stuff like that. I have done some vlogs, maybe one or two. I have done a year one video, first year video. I've spoken about my course, what's to do in Canterbury and all that jazz. So if you are interested, definitely um, scroll through my videos and check them out. I'll list some down below if I can remember. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about second year and third year and the whole experience and the graduation process. I actually graduated two days ago now, which is crazy. It's literally all done. So I'm going to explain how that went. Just an in-depth video of the university, but more so media studies. So if you're not if you're not studying media studies, then you can still listen to what I have to say, um, because I will be talking about the graduation process, Canterbury, stuff like that. Or you can also have a look back at my other videos because I've done some vlogs and stuff but yeah if you do have any questions then definitely comment them down below if I miss any topics or whatever just comment down below and I'll try my best to answer so I'm gonna start off with year two um second year so for me second year it's not gonna be the same ever again for everyone because this was the year that we had to learn from home because of COVID and all the restrictions and stuff like that, we couldn't actually attend university. So the whole entire year was actually online. So it basically resolved, uh, revolved around Zoom calls, um, pre-recorded lectures that you would just watch in your own time before the seminars. Um, the seminars would be on Zoom or they would be on, what's the other one, Teams. And yeah, that was literally my entire year. But I'm going to talk about the modules in Media Studies. Sorry about that, my camera cut off it if the position has changed. So I'm going to be talking about the modules I studied in second year. I explained in a video before what modules i done in the first year video, so go check that out. I do understand that some of the modules might be different to when you go to study media studies, but I'm just gonna tell you my personal experience in case they are still the same. So, term one and term two. Term one is from September to just the start of January, like the deadlines. And then year, no not year, term two is then from end of January to April. So, you typically start uni right at the end of September. It's usually around the 20th, I wanna say. I believe freshers weekend, like first year students, like start maybe earlier or no, freshers week. You have that whole week of having fun basically. And I think you have to, or you can attend like the first introductory lecture to your module. You might have that or like your course even for first year students. But just a heads up for media students, or I don't, again, I don't know if it's changed or not, but the course I'm studying is media studies and it has no books or no exams for the next two years. So in first year, we had to buy one book for media and meaning and we had to do two exams, I believe, at the end in like June time, May, June. And so for second and third year, there's actually no exams and you don't need to buy any books either. It's all online, like all the readings or they're either in the library for you to choose if you prefer reading from a book. So for the first um, term of year two, I studied two modules, which was photography, context of practice, and then social media plus participatory culture. So for the photography module, you basically had to create two, um, two groups of photos and it all had to like tie together, if that makes sense. So basically you had to choose around or take around 
15 to 20 pictures and I done it of nature so it's like one focus group and then you had to um, obviously take the photos really well and basically you had to describe why you took this picture and what's good about it what's not and I and you had the options to edit the pictures as well so that can tell what camera you use what editing software what you edited how you done it and stuff like that and it was actually quite easy um, and obviously I was in lockdown during this time so I just went out in the woods and then the other topic I chose was I think I think it was like I can't, I can't even remember what I done to be honest but you can literally choose anything you find interesting you could do it on sports you could do it on technology clothing fashion um, tourist spots in London anything like that the other module I studied it was social media and participatory culture now I'm going to tell you um, what I've done because I've got it on my laptop here. So the requirements for this module was a 2,500 word essay which was due right at the start of November actually. So it's quite soon for an essay to be due because it's normally due, I don't know, typically in January. They give you a bit more time but this one wasn't. And then there's a digital portfolio which was due at the end of, um, end mid-December, the 18th it was. So I'm going to explain what the course was like. So each week we learnt a different topic. So for example, for example, each I'm going to just list them each week's what we done. Um, thinking critically, she basically gave us a reading and then she would ask us questions about this. That um, We then had to pick one question for our seminar diary and we had to write 500 words. Um, with obviously 10% leeway either side. Um, week three was we learnt about Google and week four was Facebook, week five was Twitter, week six was Instagram and I actually quite like this um, week because we learnt about like influencers and identity and people's image on social media, well on Instagram which was um, a really good week. Then you had enhancement week, we then, week eight was YouTube, TikTok and the meme culture and it was about um, cultural participation, we then, and then it was Airbnb and Uber, like sharing econ economies and new marketplaces, then it was Weibo, censorship and regulation in different global contexts, then we learnt about Wikipedia, limits of the participatory ideal and that was it for that one. Um, within the, the seminar diary, as I said, you had to write 500 words. And there was also a week where we done a like a video essay. Um, I think we could have done we could do like a vlog. I think that's what I done or something, or explained how your day went. I can't remember, but it was a really enjoyable module. Second term, term two even. So in this term I done media ethics which was the compulsory module for media studies this year for year two and then I also done disability of the arts. So disability of the arts is a bit of a um, random module for me to pick because there was an option for like video gaming and there was also an option for podcasting and I didn't really like the idea of both. I feel like podcasting you have to like think on the spot and I'm really not good at that um, but it might be for you I'm not sure. Um, I think we actually had to make a podcast in first year actually we did I remember um, but anyway so I'm going to talk about media ethics first so for this we had a seminar diary thing again same concept you have to write 500 words each week so you had to actually upload it to Moodle each week otherwise if you didn't it would get marked in late and basically at the end you put all your blog posts in a word document and submit it right at the end um, 
but anyway so we done a seminar diary and then we had an essay um i think the essay was three thousand words i can't remember but so i'm just going to list you some of the topics that we um learnt about um one was about bullshit one was propaganda cultural appropriation stereotypes cancel culture on-screen diversity um, reporting crisis disaster and diseases sexiness misogyny and that was it so um don't get scared of this module because i sort of did when it said ethics i thought oh god how's that got to do with media and stuff but it's actually really good um and for the essay you had to basically choose one of um those topics that i just listed um I think one of them was maybe vanity as well and that's the one that I picked. Um, across my few years at uni I have sort of done um, the same topic just because I'm so interested in it and it's just very interesting to me and there's lots to write about it of course so I did write about vanity I think and then in each each week you're asked a question on the topic and you have to pick one question and you have to pick the question you don't write um, for your blog post. You have to choose a different one for your essay question. And I think I chose a question. It was like, is Instagram making us too vain? I think that was it. And there was so much to write about. It was really good. And the other module that I studied was disability and the arts. Not of the arts. Um, as I said this was really a random module and if there was another one that I would have liked I would have chosen it because this was my least favourite module and it's the one that I got the worst grade on. I'm not sure how I felt like I put a lot of effort into it but I don't know it was a bit of a blur. So for this one we had to do an essay and we had to write an accessibility accessibility review first six weeks of the module you learn about um different films you watch different films and they all have an element and they all have an element of disability in them so for example the first week was called representing physical impairment and we watched a film called the elephant man um that was quite good and the next one was contemporary artist with physical impairments. Oh, I think you had two screenings and you could choose which one you wanted to watch. Then the next one was representing representing neurodivergence. Oh, this one was Of Mice and Men, that film. So basically you get a bunch of films that represent disability in some way, shape or form. And then you had to write an essay about it. I chose to write about the elephant man and like write about the film and the disabilities and stuff like that. And then the last six weeks of the module, because you have an enhancement week, you have like a break in the week where you don't do anything or you just catch up on some readings or work that you have to do. So the last six weeks we then learnt about accessibility in various mediums. So like the accessibility within film and television, the accessibility in visual art, the accessibility in theatre, um, the accessibility in education and training, and then so and then you had to write your accessibility review on one of these. And I think I chose accessibilities around the museum, like a museum, like an art museum, and you'd have to write about um, a specific museum I think we had in place because we actually couldn't visit it we was meant to go on a trip where you visit a museum or you visit a certain place um, to write about but we didn't so we just had to um, we just had to write about the web what they what information they had for disabled people on the website if that makes any sense it was a bit of a boring module I'm not gonna lie but that's just my personal opinion because I'm more interested in the social media stuff but as I said I didn't really want to do video gaming and I didn't really want to do podcasting looking back I definitely should have done podcasting but I just didn't feel very confident about the whole speaking 
so yeah that was year two second year completed now i'm gonna talk about third year the last year so obviously it's july now and i started third year um in september just gone so i chose the modules film politics and identity and then i also chose digital storytelling film politics and identity is a film module but you can um it the term they use is a wild module you can choose a wild module which is can either be from the film section the art section the drama section anything um kind of arts media related you could choose and I just wanted to choose the film one because it looked good and I do believe I actually changed my module so at the start of the term either term one or term two if you're not enjoying your module one of your modules you can swap in the first two weeks just bear this in mind I've done this numerous amounts of times there are some rare occasions where they won't let you swap so you do need to like tell them if you regret picking a module right at the start of the term to email them to see if you can swap sometimes they won't let you because the course um or the module might be too full so bear that in mind so make sure you do some good research into each module so you're 100 percent so the film politics and identity module don't actually get scared of the term politics I got scared of the term politics, I felt like that was right out of my comf comfort zone, but it was actually, I felt it was nothing to do with politics to be honest. Um, it might be different for each year because each year there is a different case study that you focus ara around the whole module, so this year we done it on transgressive women um, in films. So, how the portrayal of violent women protagonists in action films and television series challenges notions of femininity under the heading transgressive women. So, we each week we got together and watched a film and then we'd have our seminar. Um, you'd either have it on the same day or a different day. I believe we only had to go in two days a week, so if you're interested in what your timetable is going to be like it will be two days a week maximum three maybe even uh, maybe even four but it's very rare it depends what module you're doing as well because some have more deadlines and more learning i guess so i'm just gonna list a couple of the films we watched just so you can get an understanding so the first one we watched was terminator and terminator 2 um kofi um, Black Panther, Alien, La Femme, Nikita, <clears throat> a French film, Catwoman, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Revenge, um, Orange is the New Black. So those are a few of the films and television series we watched, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So for the deadlines, for the, um, the work even, that's what you call it. Um, you had to do a critical reflective writing portfolio and you also had to do a 4,000 word essay. So the 4,000 word essay you just basically had to pick a film with featuring a transgressive female character, female role or a television series, whatever your preference is. You can actually choose from any of the films that in, you watch in class and like you discuss which is kind of helpful but I did choose a different film because I felt like there was more to write. Um, I chose the film Kill Bill, if any of you watched it, such a good film. Um, but yeah I wrote 4,000 words on that which was a lot but there was 4,000 words to write about it, don't worry about that. And then the critical reflective writing portfolio was 2,000 words and you um, each week it was a different topic so one would be like um women in prison um gender performance um sexual violence in films stuff like that and you just basically had to choose the film um and you just had to choose a topic and i chose gender performance and i think i wrote um something about beauty ideals in films um so yeah and you had to relate that to your personal experience um, it is actually quite easy it might it might sound hard but it's actually really easy um, 
so yeah, that was the term one. So I apologise for this voiceover, but I actually forgot to talk about my second module that I completed in term one in third year. So this was digital storytelling and for this you had two deadlines. One was you had to create a 15 minute video where you told a story essentially and the other deadline was 2,000 words just explaining how you did, how you completed the task, why you did it, um, your reasons for um, what you filmed, um, blah blah blah. Basically that's a quick summary. Um, if you are interested in this module particularly just leave a comment down below and I will reply. But yeah, I basically created a 15 minute video. Well you could actually create three lots of five minute clips um, but it didn't even have to add up to 15 minutes. I think um, 10 to 15 was like the average but I basically done it on my mum, my dad and my sister and I basically um, told a story about their jobs or their interests and what they meant to me so I just made like a reoccurring theme across the free videos and that's basically what I've done and for me the filming part was the easy part but then the writing um so that was 60% and the writing's 40% towards your final grade and I really struggled with the writing for some reason but the person who the lecturer who does the digital storytelling module is extremely helpful and you can actually um ask for lots of advice and he's there to like um give you advice on how you can improve like a draft of um your um it's called a reflective analysis i think but yeah this module was really good and then the last two modules i took was sex gender and digital culture and then the other module was media industry and innovation so the media industry and innovation is a compulsory module so let's start with that one actually so for this module you have three deadlines and this basically the whole module revolves around you creating an innovative innovative i can't even say the word um idea um to make something better basically um i chose to do my sister's business i chose to do her instagram and her tiktok and just basically revamp it maybe um i changed like the theme from like gray to black to make it pop just stuff that would make it more engaging and um in and just increase the overall engagement and look of her feed um, and there was a variety of different ways to do it and anyway you have three deadlines for this one don't get scared they're not too bad um, so first you have to hand in an essay um, I think this was around 2,000 words and the essay revolves around how you're going to go about completing your project essentially and it involves like looking into like the current trends and um, obviously there's loads of different ideas my friend created a magazine um for motorsports someone else um created a different idea for spotify users like spotify um so yeah you can literally choose anything and then the second um assignment is a seminar presentation so you have to do a presentation this is the only presentation i've like ever had to do no ever been marked on that reminds me in um the social media no in media ethics and the sex and gender one which i'm about to talk to next you have to do a presentation but it doesn't it doesn't get marked it can only boost your mark up in the seminar um diaries so yeah that's just something to think about so the presentation it had to like consist of it was like six to ten slides 
um, on how you are going to um, actually do your project. It's sort of similar to the essay, but it was different. And then the, the final um, assignment is a digital portfolio. And this included like, it, it's different for each um, idea, um, innovation, depending on what you're doing. I had to write out a report on um, my sister's Instagram and TikTok. So I included screenshots of like a before and after um, on both platforms. I screenshotted the followers, the engagement, um, like views and just compared and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, you had to write about 2,000, two and a half thousand words on that, including and just putting like the photos in it. And yeah, it was actually a really good module. I actually done well in it, um, which is nice. And the timetable for this module, it's mostly like you're left sort of on your own, but um, you're like, it sort of alternates each week, like one week you're in, one week you're not, but then the week you're not, you have to like concentrate on um, doing like some homework for the next class. You have workshops, you have people come in and talk to you about um, making up new ideas and stuff. So it's quite good. I also just wanted to mention that you do have the option to do a practice presentation in front of the class. It's literally in front of about 10 to 15 people and I really recommend doing this because the lecturer gives you feedback and then you can take it and then improve in for your final uh, presentation. And oh, you could also um, make your own podcast, I remember that was one. Anyway, um, let's get on to the other module which was sex, gender and digital culture. So this one, um, again, very similar. It had a seminar diary for the assignment and it also had an essay. Um, similarly, it's each week you learn a different topic. I, ha I highly recommend this um, module to take, it's really interesting. The first week was sex and gender, sexual orientation, sex work, pornography, objectification, hashtag me too, cis normativity and transphobia, sex and crypto, attractiveness and body oppression. It had really interesting topics and some interesting people came in as well to give us like the lectures and we could ask them questions and stuff. Um, Again, you are assigned, it's at random, you are assigned a topic and you have to give a presentation on it. And again, for your seminar diary, you do get given a question and you have to write 500 words about it. And if the presentation and your, so say I got attractiveness and body oppression as my presentation, I'd then have to, I can choose the question for my presentation and write, and just explain what I did in the seminar diary. Um, but for the essay, you have to choose a different question and it can't be on the topic you gave the presentation on, if that makes sense. That was a bit of a, a word vomit there. Hopefully you understood that. The essay, as I just said, it was, what did I do it on actually? I think I actually done it on attractiveness and body oppression and you, also have the option to make up your own question as well so you don't actually have to write about one of the questions that's already recommended to you and um, you can make up your own but you just have to verify that with your lecturer to see if it's all okay um and yeah that is literally the whole module process for media studies i hope you did understand everything i said if you didn't understand um i will type it down below and reply to your comment just a few tips I'm going to share now. Um, so, the library, um, you have a student card and you just literally tap it in the library. If you ever forget your library card, literally don't worry, you can still enter the library. There's like a machine 
um, before like the gates and you just enter your student number and your password and then it prints off a little piece of paper with a barcode on it and you just scan it and that's valid for the whole day. Just a little tip because no one ever told me that I had to find that out myself. They also offer CV help on campus, um, literally just giving your CV and they basically change it, um, like the layout and everything, they're quite particular with how CVs are meant to be so that is um, good if you're really clueless on what your CV should look like. Um, with media studies, the, you, you typically finish in April, right at the start of April, so you do get a very very long summer um one thing i highly recommend and regret um in your um in summers i really recommend you get some work experience i'm currently applying for jobs at the moment and i done an internship for six weeks at a influencer agency and i feel like that's got me the sort of interviews a lot of people are saying, oh, you're unsuccessful in this interview, no, unsuccessful in your application purely because I don't have enough experience and it's so hard for graduates to, like, get a job, I feel, because we've literally been learning for three years and we haven't had any experience. Unless you take a placement year, that is great. Um, but obviously, it adds, an, adds another year onto your university experience. And you also don't get to graduate with... Um, your friends because if they don't take the placement year for example so yeah I do really recommend you get some work experience relevant work experience in summer um, because you've got literally what about three or four months and then um, so you finish at the start of April and my last deadline was actually in the middle of May so just to let you know that as well as a little tip um, I'm going to talk about my graduation just because you only do it once, you're not going to know what to expect. So, I graduated on Monday the 11th of July. There's actually a live stream on YouTube that you can see me shake shaking the hand of the Vice-Chancellor, I think it was. Um, so, my graduation was at 7.30. There was another graduation at 2.30 and I think there even may have been one at 10.30 as well. So one or two or three graduations will happen on the same day. Um, your graduation will might be in, probably in July. Um, that's when mine was, so I'm just guessing. I know there was loads of other graduations happening this year because of COVID pushed them back. Um, but yeah, mine was in July. And what happened was you had to pick up your ticket I had to pick up my tickets, you could pick them up at 3 o'clock, um, latest you had to pick them up was like half 5 I want to say, um, just because you then had to like queue to get in the cathedral, um, well your parents did, you queue separately, you queue with all the graduates because you'll sit separate, um, I, when you're in, when you're like queuing and stuff, you get given a number, on a little piece of paper and this and then it was like 0 to 100 101 to 200 everyone was in like these queues with like these paper um, numbers and you basically had to um, start getting a, a single file um, with some strangers unless your friend has the same last or, or very similar not last name to you um, it's all in alphabetical order of your last names and it wasn't just media studies graduating it was film it was European languages it was ancient history it was art it was drama it was a lot of subjects it wasn't just media studies that you go up with it's random people um, but anyway you grow up in groups of five and someone adjusts like your gown and your hat make sure the tassel's on the right side before you go up and shake your hand because when you do that you then um, are being filmed you then have a picture as well that will probably be uploaded to the website or, get, or you get sent in the post I can't remember um, but yeah the gown hire 
cost £43 um, if just to prepare yourselves and you also have to buy a ticket which is £50 for yourself um, everyone gets two free guest tickets and once all of those have been chosen then then there then there will be a then then you have the option to buy two more tickets which are 30 pounds each um and on the day um if there is space you might be lucky enough to buy additional tickets as well um i think it's pay by cash i want to say maybe card as well i don't know but there was like when you where you collect your tickets there was also an option to buy more tickets um but yeah just keep that aware um when you're walking down the aisle as well they gave me this everyone got exactly the same it's just basically a little certificate but you get your real one through the post i want to say it's on the 18th of august I also got my results on the 30th of June. I thought it would be the 1st of July, but it was actually Thursday the 30th of June. Um, my result, I got a first. Not sure how I done that. Um, that was like my goal from the get-go, obviously. Always aim high. Um, but literally, I calculated my results because online if you type in on google you uni calculate results you can actually type in um the marks you got for each module or each assignment even and it would then calculate um your overall percentage and when i done that no joke it calculated um somewhere in the 60s and obviously to get a first you have to get a 70 and so when the results came through i got basically like a little email um on my uni email and my personal email I got two emails and it was the same email and you just clicked a link and then it would send you the transcript of the modules that you completed this year and it would also tell you what grade you got at the top and it said first I was like I was like oh, wow so happy so proud it's been a long been a long time coming if it uni of feels like forever but it literally just goes by in a flash it went by so quick but yeah I'm really happy with my result really really happy always aim high um, and I would say don't I don't recommend calculating your grade because I was literally setting myself up for a 2-1 two, two, I was like okay can't do anything about it I think that is the end of the video I think I've mentioned everything I want to mention um, check out my Instagram for my graduation posts I've already posted them if you don't follow me already I will leave it um, I will leave it down below my Instagram handle um, but yeah I hopefully I've covered most of your questions let me know your feedback of what you thought of this video or any other questions you have um, I will be answering them so yeah that is the end of my university journey I'm on to bigger and better things now fingers crossed um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video hopefully bye